Mulah gang, I don't know what's going on. Apparently, this prison booty bandit got smoked trying to play with a little young kid that was in prison. Hey, I'm just letting you know what it say on the screen, folks. We're going to watch this shit together and uh, see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> After being transferred to prison, <laughs> this dude is wouldn't even make it out of reception before catching a body. Okay, for a first degree I'm going out like conviction like, from 1968. Kept making sexual advances towards 18-year-old Daniel. 46 long God. years, turning him into a booty bandit. Oh, yeah. a new young ass. <laughs> no, they search a new young ass. <laughs> Daniel was showering when the booty bandit approached him again. No. He made his way up to Daniel in the shower. Oh, off no. Off camera, away oh, from off the camera. eyes of correction officers. When Daniel picked him up, slamming him off the floor. Boom! The booty oh, fold them! Cracking off the tile. And grab These exotic boys, smoking exotic ox. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic locks. Tied to pull up real fast, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like me. I got a lot of guac. Hey, I don't know if you're new to the channel, but over here, we family. And when I'm with family, I smokes me some thoink while I'm talking to him. One thing about me, though, I ain't stingy, you, I'm going to let you hit that thoink, too, shorty. And you know what I'm saying? Love what you love. Live life. Oh, no, this is what we do, ski. I'm going to be speaking on an 18-year-old who had just started his prison bid who killed a booty bandit after a confrontation in the prison shower. A booty bandit? I don't know about that, folks. Is, is he trying to say what I think he's trying to say? When prison is the topic of conversation, oh, no. everyone <laughs>, laughs saying, don't drop the soul. No cap. But in this case, don't drop the this soul. kid dropped the soul. Oh. And he dropped the man trying to snatch his manhood. Oh. Leaving him dead after a confrontation in the prison. Somebody have a blade on him somewhere? Three days after Christmas in 2015, Okay. Daniel up the grove got into an argument. Okay. After his 19 year old brother accused him of stealing a watch. They ended up taking it outside. The next door neighbor witnessing 17 year old Daniel pull a 22 revolver out. Oh. And stop firing at his own brother. At his own brother. After God. firing Damn. the gun, they continued kill yelling him? at each other. And Daniel shot at his brother again. Oh. According to. When police arrived, somebody seen the that brother whole thing. admitted they were arguing and a gun was fired, but wouldn't get into detail. Well, why Daniel lived So you admitted that y'all was arguing. You admitted that a gun went off, but you wouldn't get into detail. Sir, you already snitched. Either you trying to say that you shot the gun or your brother. Why the f*** would you ever say that a gun went off? Why would you admit to that? Admitted he fired the gun, saying that Again, he you shot at the ground. And he was charged with second degree attempted murder, somehow beating the charge down to an assault, oh, okay. getting probation, then getting the charge dismissed and giving a juvenile gun case. What? In 2016, How the hell he do that? he'd be sent to Florida State Prison for the next three years on a burglary and grand theft oh, charge. Oh, so that's why he went to prison for the burglary. And he got sentenced to three years. It's an additional battery charge he caught inside of the Polk County Jail. And a battery charge. Daniel and another inmate beat the shit out of somebody, knocking out his front tooth. After the inmate was transferred to the Lakeland Regional Medical Center, staff there discovered his jaw was broken in two places. No cameras or jail oh, staff yeah, that's, actually that's, saw the incident that's go down. battery right there. But the victim and inmate witnesses... This thought is... Daniel. <laughs> After being transferred to prison, this is wouldn't even make it out of reception before catching a body. <laughs> According to investigators, 66-year-old James Sanders, who was serving oh, a life sentence. Oh, he looks like a booty bandit. What the fuck? I would have had a man, boy, on a dead guy's boy. I'd put that old man where you ain't want to be, boy. I'm a dead homies, boy. Fuck you think you're going to take my manhood in this motherfucker? And that's the main reason I ain't going to prison. I'm going to tell y'all niggas that Right now, homie, I ain't going to jail. I abide the motherfucking law. You hear what I'm saying to you? This is about the only thing I do, and I this ain't prison worthy right here. On the, cause I, you know what I'm saying? This to be smoked and choked, not sold or told. You hear what I'm saying? I ain't doing no distribution. I'm doing some 
So puff it. I buy his motherfucking law because I ain't shit. I'm let you know something right now. Motherfuck back on getting smoked before his manhood gets took. That's just how it's gonna have to go. You gonna have to, you gonna have to, you gonna have to take me up out of here, shorty. You gonna have to knock my ass off on the guys before you think you no. Know. Ain't happen. For a first degree I'm going out like conviction from 1968. Damn. Kept making sexual advances towards 18 year old Daniel. Oh, this no. man had been in prison since 1970. 46 long God. years, turning him into a booty bandit. Hurts yeah. a new young ass. <laughs> This is the disgusting reality of prison nah, for and what real, it though. does to some yeah. as they grow older behind the barbed wire fences, yeah. turning into sexual predators Damn that weirdo. prey on the young, the white, and usually the weak the inmates. Weak. Why the the white? booty bandit tried to get Daniel to have sex with him multiple times over a span of a few weeks. So he tried, to, he tried to get freaky with him. And refusing every single time. Right. But on October 19th, 2016, October 19th. around 8.15 p.m., Daniel was showering when the booty bandit approached him again. He'd been most likely watching his movements, yeah, waiting weird for the up, opportunity nigga. to strike like an animal stalking its prey. Oh, no. He made his way up to Daniel in the shower, oh, off no. camera, away oh, from the eyes camera. of correction offices, when Daniel picked him up, slamming him off the floor. Floor. Oh, the booty oh the them. cracking off the tile and grabbed his clothes and walked out of the shower. That nigga tried to get freaky with a man in a shower. Man, dumb, slam him on the head. Oh, <laughs> smoked his, ass, caught his clothes and walked up out there. Shout out to Daniel. Shout out to Squire. That what for them? Wrong with dude. Old ass man, nigga. You gonna be a booty bad before you gotta be at least a bodybuilding ass nigga or something. You feel you can't be no old frail ass old nigga. I would have slammed his ass too. For now, I would have had a blade up under my tongue or something. That shout boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Come through like Samurai Jack on the guys. For take, I'm telling you, boy, my gonna have to take me up out this before they think they take my manhood. Leaving that's on that guys. sick. On I ain't going floor. to jail. Ain't happening. He was found by officers. Ever in life. The booty bandit conscious enough to tell the captain he'd slipped. No. Nope. But couldn't get up. Oh, so he was conscious. He was pronounced dead by 1.30 a.m. at an outside hospital. Took him up out there. An this. FDLE special agent investigated the case, reviewing multiple statements given by inmate witnesses that James had sexually harassed, oh, confronted, so they, they on and that stalked part. Daniel in That's an what's attempt up. to coerce That's what's or up. force him to have sex for several weeks prior to the incident. And, and niggas could have called me whatever the fuck they wanted to call me, but only guys, if I was in there and they asked me what happened or they tried to get, get me to talk about some shit, I, I, I'm going to tell you like, like this, like, I don't know what happened. I went there, but I can tell you this. Old man, old man tried to get freaky with bro. At the times he tried to, you know what I'm saying, he tried to sexually assault bro. At the times, so he probably tried in the shower when it went down. Like I, I would, you call me a stitch if you want to. I'm telling the popo. You want some weird, shit, on some freaky weird shit like that? I'm telling the popo every the time. Special Sorry. agent advised Daniel's actions were justified and a clear case of self-defense. Pause, listen, I have a mentorship called the Moolah Membership where I'm going to teach you how to get rich with business, YouTube, crypto, stocks, financial literacy, credit, every single way. And I became a millionaire by the time I was 23 years old. I'm going to teach you step-by-step step for only $50. Click the first link in the description right now and get added to my group chat where I'm going to give you one-on-one -on -one help to make sure you get rich in 2024. Click it right now, stop tweaking because we got very, very, very limited spots and I don't want you to miss this bag. Declining to pursue For any sure. criminal charges. Squad, and he got off. The Grove caught a body and beat a and body, beat a body. just yeah, months into his three year bid yeah. and was released in January of 2019. Oh, that's what's up, so he now survived that. He survived that, he survived that and got up out of there. That's what's up, there, you little fuck there, nigga. Savage squad, he ain't let his shit go. Video, I'm not gonna oh, lie, bro. I was happy for two Oh reasons. yeah, I'm happy. I was happy that karma struck the person 
Bro, that was that. trying to be a predator. Yeah. And I was happy that Daniel wasn't sentenced yeah, for, for the sure. death. Because sure. there's so many cases where people tried to plead self-defense. This guy tried to rape me. This guy tried to do this. Yeah. You got a lot of people that lie. Yeah, for sure. But you have a lot of people That's that where that was actually a factor. Yeah. Like Frederick Patterson III, when we were at Appalachia Correctional. Oh. I remember him. when he came to Damn, Appalachia. I remember when he shit. started to get tattoos. He got tap out. He got stitches by his eyes. It was corny shit. Right. He ended up going to confinement. Dude exposed himself to him. He beat his bunkie to death. Oh. Tried to do the self-defense route. It didn't work out. While he was inside of the Jackson County Jail, he killed another sex offender in his cell. Now he's facing the death penalty. Oh, he penalty. smoked this two? Damn. He's I'm 26. Two? He's probably like 23. And I'm not saying that I'm wishing death on people, but karma comes back to bite. Hey, yeah, when boy, you I, have... I'm saying it. You nigga, you on some freaking? If you on some trying to be a sexual predator, sh gang, I wish you sm get smoked. I hope they smoke your stupid. Some of the guys are like people that have been inside a prison. No, nah, that's weird. For 46 years with a life sentence, never going home. Yeah. Why is he even around an 18 year old? For sure. That's going home within 36 three years. months. Yeah, I don't understand stupid. it. And I've seen it. I've experienced it. Yeah, the, being the, around. The lifers should be with the lifers. I don't, I don't feel like you got a nigga in here for life and you got him 50 years, 60 years, and he in here with a nigga that's doing three years for a burglary. The burglary, the burglary wasn't. I'm sorry, I'm high, y'all. The burglary wasn't even violent. On God, on 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 on, on I'm high. <laughs> I got stuck. I didn't know what was next. Hey, my shit was skipping. Oh, hold on. We gonna get back to it. Hold on, folks. Listen, folks. I don't know why he in jail with the nigga that doing three years. Okay, he put that nigga ass over there with the other niggas doing seventy five years in here, man. Why the nigga with doing three years should be around another nigga doing three years? Cause the lifer is coming in jail, waking up every day in a completely different light mind state than the three three year nigga. The three year. And I'm stuttering cause I'm high. I'm not slow, I promise. Okay, look. <laughs> the three-year nigga is like, okay, let me just get through this, get some good time, come home in a year and a half. Let's just get up out of here quick. Go, go, go. Right? The nigga with life like, yeah, I'm in this motherfucker forever. I kill a nigga right now. They ain't gonna do nothing to give me some more time. I ain't going home anyway, so fuck it. So I don't think you should be dumb. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't really cross paths unless the three-year nigga is just over violent or he just killed somebody in jail or something like that. You feel me? But I don't Around know. People never going home while I'm about to go home. Right. And it's an eerie feeling because Hell yeah. before you're released from prison, you have to go to this class. And it basically okay. teaches you how to go home and sets you up for failure pretty much because you don't learn anything. Right, you just right. watch Disney movies and shit and do little worksheets. But you get this call out to That's this how thing. stupid as hell. And as you go to this class, as the call out is announced people look people look and they see you and they know you're going home you better go home yeah and you look back at them and you know you're not right you're stuck here right and there's something called time jackers inside a prison people yeah that will i know exactly what you're with you yeah try you or try to do yeah it's that it's that's a lot of niggas like that i got 65 years Shit, i ain't got nothing else to do in here i'm in prison you get what I'm saying? You in, imagine you in prison. You got 70 years. You got the rest of your life to do in here. You already know this. It's over. You ain't got nothing else to do. I know he going home. Let me go fuck with bro. See if I can get him some more time. So let me go press his buttons. You feel me? Let me go touch him. Let me go do this. Let me go do that. Let me go get, see if I can get him some more time just to do something. Like, you feel me? Do something to jack your time. To snatch it. To keep you from going home. Yeah. Out of jealousy and envy due to the fact that they can't. They might come up and try you just because they feel that you're not going to do anything to risk, right. to jeopardize right. going home. Right. Imagine you're about to leave. Somebody rushes in your cell and takes all your, all your shit. shit. And your you whole bid has been fucking it. violent. Your whole bid, you've stood up for yourself. Right. You've demanded respect. Right, this right, This person right. takes all your shit. Right, right, right. What you going to do? Because they want to test you. What are you going to do? What you going to do? Are you going to take it to the chin and just go home? And have you been institutionalized in this short amount of time that you can't let shit slide? I'm going home. 
No, no problem. Hey, next time, just ask, bro. I give it to you all. I'll give. A I'll call. Hey, mama, give me a thousand dollars on. The, you feel me? Give me some commentary. Flood my. Shit. I'm finna put some money on this thing. Feed the whole deck. F it. I spend every dollar I got just to keep the whole deck happy. You know what I'm saying? Just so I could go home in peace. I'm going f home. That shit getting less slid. I ain't with all that egos tripping shit. F that it, uh, Nick, no. No. Maybe you're no, affiliated no. and you got people looking at you like, nah, you gotta go handle that. Maybe you're unaffiliated. And still you got friends looking at you like, what are you gonna do? Right. They might not be mad if you walk away and you do nothing, but what the f are you gonna do? These are time jackers. This is an actual reality inside of prison. For sure. If you're young, you're white, you're weak, whatever, there's people in there that wanna f you. <laughs> and there's no other way to sh <laughs> Bro, hell, you come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Pause, bro. I'm too high for this, bro. Sugar-coated or explain it. There are people in there that want to treat you like a f***ing sex dog oh, on Jesus. a daily basis and will pass you around oh, to no. multiple other people. Oh, you will catch diseases. Oh. You will be treated like a bitch. There's no respect. There's no condom. There's no f***ing lube. None of that. This shit's brutal. This, shit's this is brutal, the reality bro. of prison. I'm telling you, and you I'm glad to take me up out of here, boy. I'm not doing it. an example of somebody I just that wouldn't wipe my ass. I wouldn't bite my ass for 16 days. I ain't let me this shit. Listen, man. Before I let somebody take my manhood. Oh, you gonna smell some... Oh, bro, it's gonna be real shit. Oh, for them. Not this nigga here. And what you gonna do? If you locked up and you know it's some big, strong, 300-pound, 6'9", motherfucker, and he trying to take your manhood, and he told you on Saturday it's going down. dun 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 I don't know about you, me, if, in the hypothetical situation that I'm in that situation, oh, okay, you gonna see something, folks, I promise you that, you can <laughs> Stood up for themselves, and that investigators were able to recognize that, Ooh, that other inmates actually stood up and said something, Florida isn't like California. When somebody gets bodied inside of the Florida Department of Corrections, if you look up these cases, mm -hmm. you'll have the whole thing dorm getting interviewed yeah for statements yeah <laughs> so in these court papers yeah you'll have 80 something people listed as witnesses That's on crazy. top of the staff that were involved right, right and right. out of those 80 something people 50 of them are gonna give witness statements saying what had happened yeah that's just how it is i don't for know sure. you know other states they keep their mouth shut florida ain't like that everybody's gonna <laughs> say something oh god period that's just how it goes these inmates said exactly what happened and exactly what happened matched Daniel's defense. Daniel wasn't charged. That's what's up, with the bro. murder. And I'm sure I'm that glad he ain't get, I'm glad the he fact ain't that charged. he stood up for himself, even though we killed a black inmate, and there might have been some inmates that felt some type of way about that. I don't know how you wouldn't be able to respect him for what he did. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't even think I don't know who would feel some type of way because. I'm just feeling like, okay, gang, like, I know that nigga was a weirdo, so I know what happened. I know he was trying you, so I, I'm not slow. I can put that together real quick. Shit, I can't be mad at him. I don't give a what color he is. He wasn't letting somebody fuck him. Nope. He wasn't letting somebody try him like that. Nope. And he was able to handle himself in a manner where he didn't go and stab him in the neck on the way to chow, but he... You know what I just thought about? So you slammed a, imagine slamming a grown old ass man who trying to fuck you while y'all both naked in the shower. Oh my no. Came at him, he handled it. Oh my He no. was able to walk out of the situation safely. Not every situation is going to present itself like that. I'm glad he I'm good, I'm surprised, dog, honestly, bro. that the booty band didn't pull a knife. Yeah. Because that's how I usually have heard of it going down. Right, right, right. They'll put a knife to you. Yeah. And then tell you what they want. Right. Oh. And then you have the option, either get stabbed or give it up. But, hey, it's that's the crazy. Florida Department of Corrections. If you're in the state of Florida, I highly suggest you stay the f*** out of prison. For sure. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking Florida, with you. I heard, I always, I've been hearing that. It's just the long, like a long time, boy. Florida is fucked up. And I haven't got arrested in Miami. I'm going to tell you this right here, Mr. Sir. Nigga, that jail, Miami-Dade County jail, nigga.
boy. Just let I just put it like this. I'm not going back. I bet you that. 